Have you ever walked through your city and wondered what secrets are buried beneath the streets? Or what stories echo off the buildings you pass by every day? Well, you're not alone. Today, we're peeling back the layers of concrete and time to uncover the mysteries that our urban landscapes hold. Stonehenge, Salisbury. On September 21st, 1915, Cecil Chubb did what we all dream of doing when we have a bit too much money. He bought Stonehenge at an auction for 6,600 pounds. Forget nabbing a rare painting or a vintage chair, Chubb went straight for a prehistoric monument. Just like the chat at home when he told his wife, who had been eyeing some fancy drapes, only to find out they're now the proud owners of some ancient rocks. Practical was definitely not on the agenda. In 1918, Cecil Chubb pulled another one. This time, he gifts Stonehenge to the state, making a grand gesture that ensures locals can visit without paying more than a small amount. Prime Minister Lloyd George was so taken aback by the move that he knighted Chubb, making him Sir Cecil Chubb, the first baronet of Stonehenge. So the Chubb family's connection to Stonehenge didn't go on forever. When Sir Cecil passed away in 1934, and then his son John in 1957, their title as barons of Stonehenge came to an end. But let's be honest, giving a national treasure to the public, that's a legacy all on its own. Niagara Falls. Building a bridge over Niagara Falls ran into a major stumbling block in 1847. Without any of the modern technology, they had to extend a line across an enormous 800-foot gap, which was no easy task. Plus, the extremely strong Whirlpool Rapids made it impossible to try to swim across with the rope. But then, someone had a brainwave, a kite-flying challenge. The task was simple, $10 to the first person who could get a kite from the American side over to Canada. Enter Homan Walsh, a teenage kite enthusiast who snagged the prize that spring. Turns out, sometimes the wackiest ideas are the winners. Starting with Homan's kite string, they escalated to thicker ropes, eventually getting a steel cable all the way across. This clever bit of thinking kicked off the construction of the Niagara Falls Suspension Bridge, which opened its gates in 1848 and was the main way across until the Whirlpool Rapids Bridge took the spotlight in 1897. The Eiffel Tower, Paris. When the Eiffel Tower first shot up into the Paris skyline on March 31, 1889, it was like nothing else. But catch this, for the first few months, it was a look-don't-touch deal for the general public. The man behind this iron giant, Gustave Eiffel, literally paid for 80% of it out of his own pocket. His reward? He got to keep it for 20 years before Paris had plans to take it apart and sell it off. Yeah, they saw it as one big temporary art piece. Gustave, though, wasn't about to watch his towering achievement get chopped up for parts. So, he flipped the script by diving into science. He started funding experiments and, in a move that would change everything, mounted an antenna on top in 1898. Hello, wireless telegraphy! Fast forward a bit, and the Eiffel Tower started to look more like a tech hub with all its new antennas, even attracting military attention. By 1909, it hosted the first military radio telegraphy station, tucked away under its metal framework. This tech twist gave the tower a whole new lease on life, and boom! On the first day of 1910, its time got extended by 70 years. Now, it's rocking over 100 antennas, making it a major player in radio and TV broadcasting. From potential scrap metal to a global communication icon, the Eiffel Tower story is straight up wild. Burlington. Hidden under the English countryside back in the late 50s, during the peak Cold War paranoia, was Burlington, a legit underground city built as a nuclear bunker for the British government. Think of it as a massive subterranean fortress, sprawling over 35 acres and dug 60 meters deep. Burlington was decked out with all the essentials for 4,000 government peeps to ride out a nuclear apocalypse for three months. We're talking a full-on hospital, a broadcasting studio for those end-of-the-world announcements, all the comms equipment you could dream of, and, yeah, even an underground lake to keep the water supply sorted. Feels like something you'd expect in a futuristic dystopian novel, right? Though it got the axe in the early 2000s, 
Burlington is still a wild reminder of how intense things got during the Cold War. What mysteries do you think lie hidden in your city? Share your speculations in the comments below, and don't forget to like and subscribe for more deep dives into history's most intriguing stories. Colosseum, Rome. Heinz Jürgen Besta from the German Archaeological Institution has dropped some mind-blowing info on us about Rome's legendary Colosseum. So, it turns out, this ancient megastructure was rocking a high-tech elevator and trapdoor system way before it was cool. Yep, Italian archaeology bigwigs have verified it. And let me tell you, it's legit. This ancient setup was all about bringing the wow factor to those epic gladiator shows. Think about it. Lions and other fierce creatures suddenly popping up in the arena from their underground hangouts. After some serious detective work, researchers found 24 to 28 of these ancient elevators, each with enough muscle to lift 600 pounds. That's enough power to transport an entire squad of about 56 lions right into the spotlight. Besta reckons there was a whole team of the OG stage managers backstage, managing the beastly surprises to thrill the audience at just the perfect moments. This revelation totally changes the game on how we view the Colosseum. It wasn't just about brute strength and savage fights. There was some serious engineering genius behind the scenes. And for those who want to dive even deeper, check out the PBS documentary, Colosseum Roman Death Trap. Liberty Bell, Philadelphia. Check out this giant of a bell, 12 feet in circumference and weighing a hefty 2,080 pounds. It's not just any bell. It's the one that echoed the first reading of the Declaration of Independence in Philadelphia, back in the day of 1752. Now, let's talk about that infamous crack. It's shrouded in mystery and theories abound, but the official scoop from city records pins the blame on 1846. Here's the scene. It's George Washington's birthday. The state mayor is caught up in the festive spirit and decides to ring the bell. That's when the crack decides to crash the party. The team that was supposed to fix the bell? Yeah, they kind of made things worse. What was a minor crack turned into a major headache. And if you get up close, you'll see the bell's crack is actually lined with 40 drill bit marks, a failed attempt to keep the crack from spreading using the stop drilling technique. The craziest part? No one today has heard the bell in its original, uncracked glory. Tower of Pisa, Tuscany Near the end of World War II, American troops were pushing toward the Tower of Pisa, but those final 2.5 kilometers were brutal. Despite the flat coastal terrain, which should have put the Germans at a disadvantage, their aim was eerily good. The Americans were baffled, having checked every possible hiding spot for snipers, except, you know, the massive 185-foot tower sticking out like a sore thumb. That's when Colonel Woods gave 24-year-old infantryman Leon Wexstein a mission that was straight out of a suspense movie. With just a radio man by his side, Leon was supposed to stealthily approach the tower and look for German troops hiding out. As Leon got closer to the tower, he was ready to spot the enemy but ended up getting totally wrapped up in the tower's historic vibe instead. Even with an attack on the agenda, he found himself hesitating because, well, it's the Tower of Pisa. When the situation got too hot with German shells coming their way, Leon and his radio man had to hightail it out of there. Once they reported back that they didn't spot any Germans using the tower, the higher-ups made a quick call. The Tower of Pisa was too precious to bomb. And that's how the iconic Leaning Tower dodged a bullet during the war. That's it for today. If you enjoyed uncovering the secrets of cities with us, give this video a like, and don't forget to subscribe for more fascinating journeys into the past.